what is up? So I'm bringing you guys another money making guide. Now, um, in this guide, I was checking to see, I was going to do another money making guide, and, um, I was checking the eclectic imp prices, um, and I found out the impling jars were, like, going up by crazy amounts. It's like, you know, let's make a money making guide on this, because you can actually make impling jars. So, what you need to do is buy imp repellent, but right now it's not selling on the G, so I just suggest you make your own because it's cheaper. I'm not going to factor in the time to make it. Um, it's right here. It sells for like 744 You can just leave in the G and buy it. I'm sure I'll buy it over time, but there's just none in the G right now. I'm not overpaying for it. So in order to make it, you'll buy an anchovy. Anchovy oil. Ideally, you just buy the imp repellent, but you can still make money doing it this way. It's actually a lot cheaper if it doesn't buy for medium price in the G. So just buy some of that. There you go, 140 GP right there for that. Then you need to buy flowers. And I found that the cheapest flower is yellow flowers. So I'll buy some of those. They'll come in for way lower than that. There we go, 5.3K. Then all you want to do Oops, not wield it. Use yellow flowers. You just want to use these just like this. Make all of these anchovy oils into imp repellent. Do this up. Like I said, normally I just buy the imp repellent, but it doesn't come in GE. Don't pay over 800 GP per imp repellent, and it's definitely not worth it. Um, but usually anchovy oil, if it is only 14 GP a piece, you can save about 400 GP by making it yourself. Because flowers only like 400 GP each and the oil is like 14 GP each. So, there we go. Made all our imp repellent. And now you'll just want to buy butterfly jars. 14 of them. You know, you'll stock up in your bank. But you'll only be able to have 14 of each in your inventory. But just buy as many as you want and how many uh, implant chairs you want to make. So boom, there we go. Once you get your imp repellent and your implant chairs, you want to teleport to Port Saron. Let this go using the lodestone. But like I said, um, because you can buy the imp repellent in the G, I'm not going to calculate the time it takes to make it. It's really fast anyways, but um, you can just pre-prepare that before you do this. I'm only going to calculate the time it takes to run a trip of these. Which will be about five minutes as you'll see what we gotta do. Once you're in Port Sarum, head to Remington. Up this way. Past the mine. Right up top here, past the house portal. To the farming patch. And hopefully I don't white the screen. I've been pissing me off lately. Right here to this little green like quest tab, it's for the achievement. I wanna come over here to this table to the lamp oil stand. All you want to do is use one of these right in there, and then use a butterfly jar, and boom, impling jar. So, imp repellent right there. And you'll just want to do this over and over. So, I'm going to pause the video till I do this inventory. Alright, guys, and we're back. We finished up. So, remember, you'd use your oil, use on the lamp oil stand, then use butterfly jar with that oil stand once you're filled up with your oil and you'll get an implant jar. So then you want to head back and bank either Edgeville, Bertha, anywhere close to a bank. I'd suggest one of those two. But we're going to go to the G and sell it and see how much profit you make. And um, an average inventory would be anywhere from two to three minutes. I'll go on the high end say three minutes, but that's actually a long time. Say easy two minutes. If you do it right, easily possible in under three minutes, but you know, we'll estimate high just to make sure, you know, if you're slightly AFKing, you're, you know, you're doing something else. This really, you can't really AFK it because you gotta click constantly. You gotta click oil, put in the oil, then click implant jar and make it into an implant jar, each one separately. There's no make all button, which sucks, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, especially for the good GP that you get out of this. So, what do you want? Exchange the grand exchange. We'll sell these. I know they are going down a little bit, but not too bad. Sell them for 2k each. Or not 2k. Ah, uh, there we go. 
So 31.6k. Now I would recommend making your own input as it is a lot cheaper. It will, you know, I'm not going to calculate into time because you don't have to. Plus it really doesn't take that long. And, uh, you know, you do that before. It's like prep work before you actually do the money making guide. So I'll just calculate the time it takes to do a run with M jars. So let's calculate our profit. This is if you made the imp jars or the repellent yourself. It's a lot cheaper. So pretty much we got we'll just call it 5.4k because it's 140 GP added to that. It's 5,400 plus the we'll call it 3k for the implant uh, the butterfly jars. So in total, it costs us. 8,400 GP to make those implant jars, and we got 31.6k. So 31,600 minus 8,600. So we made 23k profit in three minutes. In three minutes, we made 23k. So now, 60. Everybody complains about the math. Five by three minutes because it's 60 minutes in an hour. So you can do 20 runs in an hour, times that by 23,000, and we get 460k an hour. This is great money making. It's easy, you know, it doesn't take a lot of money, um, and prices are just through the roof. So I'd say you could easily get over 550, 600k an hour. Um, 460 is just on the lower end. Um, like I said, inventory should not take you any more than like two minutes. I'm just estimating a little higher because. I don't know, this might take you a little longer. And, um, yeah, that does it for me, guys. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.